Hi everybody, I'm Leslie Bullion and I'm going to read to you from my brand new book, Amphibian Acrobats, in which I use a cast of talented amphibian performers to showcase what amphibians can do and what they're all about. So I'm going to start with a poem called The Skydiver. Skydiver is a cool science story about a frog called Wallace's Flying Frog that uses the flaps of skin between its toes and some flaps of skin on the sides of its body to be able to sort of soar through the air and skydive from branch to branch. So here's the skydiver. This tree frog's feet are flappy. Yes, they are. They're webbed with skin that's inky black, like tar, like night sky with a yellow frog toe star. This largish frog with bright white bulgy eyes flees any treetop perch where danger lies. By paragliding with its feet, it flies. Now, Wallace's flying frog is a nocturnal frog. Many frogs are. And as I said, it uses its sticky flying tree frog toes and the webs between its toes to do some amazing gliding. And here's Robert McGank's wonderful illustration of Wallace's flying frog. The One of the things that I love about this uh, poem form, which is called Cumulating Poetry, is that it takes one sound and then the next line uses that sound at the end to make another rhyme by adding another sound to it. So the first stanza, this tree frog's feet are flappy. Yes, they are. The second line is the word tar, where I add the T to R. And the third line is the word star, where I add the S sound to the word tar. So that's a lot of fun playing around with words and language, which I love to do when I write poetry. The second poem that I'm going to read you is called The Skin Shredders. And this is about the third kind of amphibian. Most people are familiar with frogs and toads, which are all frogs, and salamanders. There's a lot of different kinds of salamanders, but many people haven't heard of Sicilians. C-A-E-C-I-L-I-A-N-S, which are wormy, snaky looking amphibians with amphibian moist permeable skin that live mostly underground and some in water. And as I said, most people haven't heard of them. So I used the poem form Clarihue to introduce the Sicilian. And this particular Sicilian Many Sicilians have live birth, unlike a lot of frogs and toads that lay eggs, and salamanders also. And when these little baby Sicilians are born, their mama has made an outer layer of her skin that's especially nutrition-packed. And as soon as they hatch, they come out and their first meal is little nibbles of her skin. And here's, that's a cool science story, as I love cool science stories, and here's Robert McGank's wonderful illustration of the Sicilians. So here's the short poem, The Skin Shredders. Have you ever seen a Sicilian? They're amphibians that look snakily reptilian. Or something like eels, but mostly tailless and none have fins. And some hatchlings' first meals are peeled mama skins. So that's the poem about Sicilians. And there are many other poems in Amphibian Acrobats about frogs and about salamanders and the one about Sicilians. And also the final poem about caring about amphibians on Earth and the important ecological job they do for us and for the Earth. So I hope you enjoyed the two poems from my brand new book, Amphibian Acrobats. Bye!